Cadmium-109 is an artificial radioactive isotope. It is commonly used to manufacture sealed X-ray radiation sources. Cadmium-109 can be obtained by irradiating stable isotopes in either of the two ways. Exposing stable silver-107 isotope or stable cadmium-108 isotope to high flux of neutrons in a nuclear reactor or bombarding stable silver-109 isotope with protons in a cyclotron accelerator. Cyclotron-produced cadmium-109 is roughly five times more expensive than its reactor-borne version, but it yields ultra-pure, carrier-free, very high-specific activity radioisotope. This matters a lot when manufacturing a radiation source, allowing for much smaller and much higher output sources. In Russia, RIAR Atomic Reactor Research Institute in Dmitrovgrad city produces reactor irradiated cadmium-109. Cyclotron-produced cadmium can be acquired from Cyclotron company in the city of Oblitz. A typical cadmium-109 seal source is an active core containing the radioisotope placed into a metal capsule with an X-ray transparent window sealed airtight by welding. Capsules are usually very durable, being able to withstand environmental stress, including temperature and mechanical load. This is how a highly reliable and compact X-ray and gamma radiation source for X-ray fluorescence analysis is built. You can use those sources in particular to validate steel sample grades or check building walls for lead paint, as well as for many other applications. The principle behind X-ray fluorescence analysis is so-called induced fluorescence. If you irradiate stable atoms with photons, they can get excited, meaning the electrons in those atoms will rise from lower energy levels to higher ones, up to escaping the atoms entirely, turning those into ions. An atom remains excited for a very short time, up to a microsecond only, then returning to its normal stable state. As electrons drop back to the lower levels, they either release the excessive energy they have just received as photons, or share it with other electrons in the atomic electron shell. Each element has its own unique electron shell layer structure. Therefore, the photons released when electrons drop from upper to lower levels have a spectrum unique to the chemical element. You capture this spectrum and understand which elements are present in what quantity by looking at spectrum lines, energy and intensity. It is very easy to shield the user from the source radiation using a small and lightweight screen, as cadmium-109 isotope emits no high-energy gamma rays. You can therefore use those sources in portable devices, including handheld. This is how radioactive cadmium-109 isotope can be used as part of research and testing devices helping us study and discover chemical composition of materials around us and find potentially harmful substances hidden from plain sight.